please ensure you've read the warnings and important notes on our written instructions. Please note, this is a two-person install and should not be attempted individually. The first step is to unpack your blind from the box. Take care not to dispose of the packaging immediately. You will need corner supports during installation later on. Take your blind out of the box and lay all the parts out on the floor. Ensure the floor is clean. You can open out the cardboard boxes and lay them on the floor to protect it. Remove the screws from the front cover. Keep these screws safe as you'll need them later on. Do this for both cassettes. If your blind is already in the cassette when it arrives, skip this step. Remove the front cover by hinging it up by approximately 8mm and sliding it back to release it. Remove the pin from the bearing end and put it to one side. Fit the motor end of the roller blind into the bracket first. The tongue on the bracket will locate into the plate on the end of the motor. Ensure there is around 300mm of fabric unrolled from the tube when you do this. Fit the bearing end of the roller and insert the pin. Your side channel should arrive with the zip insert already inside. You may need to shake this slightly so that it is positioned properly. Slide the side channel onto the zipped edge of the fabric. Ensure the side channel connects to the end cheek leg securely. Do this to the other head box. You'll now need to lock off the tension to your CTS units. Please ensure you have read the written warnings on our installation instructions as these units are highly tensioned and should be handled with care. Using a screwdriver through the cord loop, pull the cord carefully away from the CTS unit until the cord is as long as the length of the blind. Once the cord is long enough, place a screw or screwdriver into the locking point indicated by the sticker on your CTS unit. This will lock off the tension. Attach the cord loop to your hem bar attachment as shown. Once the loop is secure, Carefully take hold of the cord and hold it in place as you remove the screw from the locking point. Please do this carefully as the full tension will return to the CTS unit. Gently release the cord from your hand. Using the corner supports from your packaging, prop your assembled blind up off the floor. At this point, connect the motor to power and complete motor setup. Once the motor is set up, return to complete the installation. Run your blind up and down once to check it has been properly set up. Check that the zips are fully engaged in the side channels. Now it's time to install your L-angle shelving into the recess. This is our recommended fitting method. If you didn't order your angles pre-drilled, you'll need to drill holes ready for fixing. We recommend installing the shelving at at least 100mm above the bottom of the opening. Measure and mark out where each screw will be fitted, leaving at least 150mm of space between the shelf and the window. Fit the first piece of 115mm L-angle shelving at the motor end. Secure the L-angle in at least three places along the full length. Now mark and prepare the fixings for the 115 shelving at the CTS end. Once the motor end shelf has been securely fitted and the CTS end is ready to fit, carefully lift the blind onto the shelf as demonstrated. Please note that this will require two people. Please ensure the blind is disconnected from power before lifting. Carefully lift the CTS unit cassette above your fixing point and securely fix the other piece of 115mm angle. Once the shelf is fitted, lower the blind onto it. At this point, the weight of your blind is supported by the shelf. Place the cardboard corners from your packaging under the cassettes on both ends. This lifts the blind up to allow you to fix the 75mm angle. Repeat on the other side. Remove the corner supports from underneath the blind. Measure the diagonals of the blind to ensure it is square. The two diagonal measurements should be the same. 
Once you're happy that the blind is square, fix it in place on one side using the fixing brackets on the side channel as shown. Repeat for all brackets on that side. Measure the width of the blind in three places to ensure the side channels are parallel. Once you're happy the blind is parallel, secure the fixing brackets on the other side. Use the adjustment on the brackets to ensure all the side channels remain parallel. Replace the front cover on the motor end head box, making sure the motor cable is properly threaded through the cable exit. If you didn't request a cable exit at order stage, this can be drilled now. Your blind can now be connected to power. Run the blind once closed and open again to check it is running properly. At this point, your installation is complete. Fit the side channel bracket covers and replace the CTS cassette.